Yeah, we'd gone, we'd gone up to Whitby for the scooter rally, which is done every couple of years. We'd um, gone out that night, left the dog in the tent because we were camping, and went out for a few drinks, come back, and the dog was missing. So everyone looked for the dog. We eventually found it, and then we got told that a man had picked her up in the bar and thrown her outside. So Gav went to find this bloke to have a word with him. And that's when it all kicked off. I walked in the pub and um, I'd worked with this guy and we ended up going outside. And as we got to the side door, I felt a blow in, into my side. Um, and I, t I turned around and hit him. I, I thought he'd hit me. And I felt another blow and I hit him again. And then another blow after that. But saw saw the knife come out on the third one. I just realised I'd been stabbed at that point. What ran through you at that point? Uh, you ran off, didn't you? Basically, just I ran and got went into the pub, um, just to get out of the way and you know get some medical attention. Really, I got picked up from the pub by the owner of the campsite, who took me away on back to the campsite. Uh, and was waiting for the ambulance to come. The ambulance couldn't come until the police was on site. Um, it was quite a lengthy wait, in all fairness, and they were struggling to stop me bleeding. And uh, basically, they lifted my arm up and cut a hole in my side and pushed the fingers in between my ribs to create a big enough hole to push ten inch of a quite a large pipe into my chest. I remember screaming and begging them to stop. And um, we told the kids he'd been hit in the stomach by a bad man, and I sent the kids home with my dad and my sister. Me and my mum stayed up there, and we didn't tell the kids what happened until we got back, so they could see for, the, for themselves that it was going to be all right, because we didn't want to frighten them. I'm, I'm fine, as in all my normal day-to-day -day, day stuff. It's, it's just the kids, really, with the constant ringing and making sure I'm all right, just reassuring all the time.